In this tutorial, we'll walk through how to create a content item using the basic page content type. By the end of this tutorial, you will understand how to create and publish a content item that will be used as the home page of the site. To follow along, you should have Drupal 8 installed and the basic page content type must exist. If you install Drupal with the standard installation profile, the basic page content type will already be created for you. Finally, to get the most out of this tutorial, you'll need to understand how paths, aliases, and URLs work on the web and in Drupal. See the written version of this tutorial for a link to the prerequisite tutorials. In the Manage Administrative menu, navigate to Content, then click Add Content, and Basic Page. The Create Basic Page form appears. Click Edit Summary to reveal the summary field. First, let's give our page a title of Home. The title field will be used in the title tag in the HTML source code of the page and in any other relevant meta tags. The words in the title are used to construct the automatic URL alias, and the title is also used as a label for the content item in various administrative screens. The summary field should be a summary of the body field. Enter the following. Opening times and location of City Market. The summary is commonly used as teaser text, especially in lists of content, RSS feeds, and other views. The summary can be optional, and if it is blank, a trimmed version of the body would be used in teasers instead. The body field is the simplest and most straightforward way to enter the primary content of your page. Let's enter the following. You can see the written version of this tutorial for copy pastable text. Our body field is using the basic HTML text format. This text format is configured to use a WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get editor called CK editor. That's what's providing these handy little formatting buttons here. If we click on source, we can see the underlying HTML that will be used as the markup for the contents of this field. Clicking source again will return us to the WYSIWYG editor. If I wanted to bold some text, for example, I would highlight the text I wanted to bold, like open, then click B. I could do the same for the location text. To experiment with paragraph formats and headings, highlight the first line, welcome to city market, your neighborhood farmer's market, and select the normal dropdown. Then select heading two as a paragraph format. We can see in the source how the first line was marked up with an H2 tag, and the open and location text was marked up with the strong HTML tags. Explore the toolbar and practice creating linked text, bulleted lists, and numbered lists as well. Next, go over to the URL path settings. That's over here in the right sidebar. And for URL alias, type in slash home. We'll configure this as the path for our homepage in the tutorial designating a front page for your site. Now we're ready to preview our changes. Click the preview button. Ensure that everything looks as you expect and then click back to content editing to finalize our publication. The publish check mark is checked. If you wanted to save a draft, uncheck this box. We're ready to publish, so let's click save. In this tutorial, we created a new content item using the basic page content type that will be used as our site's front page.